Hi everyone, my name is Amanda and in this part of the video we are going to be talking about exercise when you're studying. And I don't mean exercise like going on an hour run, I mean short 5 to 15 minute movement breaks that you can do to improve your focus and make your body feel better while you're spending all day, every day, studying. We live very sedentary lives now. I'm sure you've heard it a million times. We spend a ton of time at our desks. And if you are homebound, you're spending even less time than usual because you're not commuting to and from school or work. So one of the ways to make sure that you're moving regularly is literally program in movement breaks into your day. Break up your tasks throughout the day with five, 10, 15 minute movement breaks. Now those movement breaks can be anything. They can be stretches, shoulder moving, dancing, right? They can be going on a walk outside, going on a 10 minute run. It doesn't matter. It just matters that you're moving, elevating your heart rate a little bit and getting out of this seated environment for five to 10 minutes. Just getting up and moving regularly three, four, five times a day will make a vast improvement in not only how your body feels, but how well your brain recovers and resets after each task. So a lot of my students get really overwhelmed with exercise because they consider it like, okay, I have to change into workout clothes and go on a run and then shower and that's an hour and a half and I don't have time for that. My take on that is Make it easy. Make it five, 10 minutes at a time. Go outside when possible. See the sun, right? Move, stretch, put your legs on a wall. Just move regularly and you'll start to notice if your body needs something more. One of the things I suggest is actually programming some body check-ins into your phone regularly. Two minute body check-ins just to say, hey, what do I need? Am I thirsty, hungry, or stiff? Do I need to move? eat or drink some water. By doing that regularly, you'll anticipate what your body needs before you crash and actually maintain your energy and motivation longer throughout the day. One last disclaimer, everybody is different, particularly with nutrition and exercise. I always tell all of my students, these are general, general suggestions. They do not replace professional recommendations and they certainly don't need to work for everybody. If you have specific needs or are really struggling with either your nutrition or your exercise, if your fatigue is really, really high, I strongly suggest talking to a professional, whether it's a personal trainer, a physical therapist, or a doctor, and making sure that you're getting the help and assistance you need to perform your best. Your physical health is as important as your mental health in difficult times, and I wanna make sure that you're taking care of yourself so that you have no limitations on your success. I hope you enjoyed this video. More resources and links are in the description below. You can also check out some of my other videos on night routines and other habits that can help build your internal environment into the most successful space possible for all of your goals. I hope you all are healthy, safe, and well, and I'll see you next time.